where it happens. This is the cheese strat. It does take time to do. But watch this. So see how my archers right now, they're getting lots of kills. Ready? Now we retreat. Oh no, that might not work because I took damage. Now, we brought it down to 80 versus 48. Now what we do is we go back into the battle. So here, here's where the cheesing starts happening. Now we have a fresh battle scenario. Everyone's reset positions. I can now once again set up my archers in a position to start gunning down infantry and just wait for them and get those like 10, 15 kills right at the start of the fight and then back out again. So this strategy, as long as you have loss of ranged, you can kind of win any battle by doing this. Almost any battle. I'll emphasize almost because cavalry kind of ruins this strategy. As you can see, just these two horsemen are kind of bargaining this up. Uh, but in a last-ditch effort, like if you absolutely do not want to lose a fight, like I don't right now, this works. It does take a long time to do. It's not a fast thing. It's not the be-all, end-all strategy, but if you're heavily outnumbered, uh, you can whittle down the odds to be a little bit more in your favor by doing this pretty easily too. And just look at these numbers. So my kills are going to go up to probably about 10, 15 by the end of this. And then I'll just retreat. Now the other important thing you need to know is that you cannot take damage. And as soon as they actually start making contact, we retreat. Your player can't take much more damage than I have now. If I was to take any more damage than 22 hit points here, that's it. And the reason for that is because you no longer have the option to attack. You can only send troops on your behalf. And obviously, they're not going to pull moves like this. Uh, so here's what we'll do. We'll do another quick save. You want to do this. If you are using this strategy, every time you have a successful attack, do a quick save. Because it'd be a shame if you get lucky four or five times with a good map uh, and then get shafted. And uh, you'd have to start from scratch. So here's a good slope. We'll get everybody up on the slope. Uh, actually, we'll just, just get the archers up on the slope. And uh, let's form a skine. Oh, no, no, no. Cancel that. Okay, that's fine. Archers form a skine, right? Six? Yeah. Yeah, form a wedge. There we go. Okay, infantry. You can post up right in front. Okay, and same thing. So we're just going to get a bunch of kills here. And then as soon as combat actually starts and I have any chance of losing any troops, we're going to back out. <laughs> and it's that simple, really. Uh, so here, we're going to do a quick save again. And this time we're just going to fight the battle uh, as it's meant to be fought because the odds are now even. So let's uh, get up on this hill. But yeah, so we went from a definite loss, like we were 100% going to get our asses kicked in that fight, to uh, now we have a good chance and we're probably going to win. Just by doing a quick little uh, little sneak out of the map. Just to reset everyone's position. A few moments later. Yeah, I'll just give this one more guy and then we'll, we'll end it. Okay. All right, so we ended up getting about 11 renown and 6 morale, and uh, we took almost no casualties that battle. Uh, so to basically sum this all up, the entire strat, start to finish, uh, it it needs two certain circumstances in order to work, and that is your enemy does not have much cavalry, and your army has to have quite a few archers in proportion to the rest of the troops. If you meet those two criteria, this strategy will pretty well 100% of the time work for you. However, sometimes you do get a bad map and there really isn't good archer placement. Uh, maybe you got a big trench or a river or something like that and it just doesn't work out for you. Um, all it takes in that scenario is to just back out, load your save and try again. Eventually, you can whittle down even massive armies. Uh, I was doing this with 
if they would have, let's say, 900 in a large army, like a combined forces army, and my army only had about five, 600, uh, using this strategy, I was able to get the numbers down to almost even. Uh, now, it does take some time to do, of course. Uh, there's a lot of back out, a lot of saving. Uh, and the other thing is, you cannot take damage on a character, so you can't really do much personally other than just shoot arrows. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. That's how it's done. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for sticking around if you're still watching. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Take care.